Welcome to La Maison Wellness. Today we are making one of the most delicious and one of the classic holiday season cocktail, the Merled wine. We're gonna be making my version of it called the Vin Chaud using Zira, which is a delicious non-alcoholic wine from France. What's really interesting with Zira is it's vegan, it's organic, and it's actually not de-alcoholized wine, but grapes that never reach the point of being um, fermented to produce alcohol. I'm gonna be using coconut sugar, some spices like cinnamon and sour anise and clove, and then lemon and orange. Putting everything in the saucepan and then heating it up and I've got this beautiful carafe to be able to serve it, but also to keep it warm, serving in beautiful wine glasses. So let's make the drink. The beauty about Merle wine is it's actually really easy to make. I'm using Zira wine, so you want a good quality of wine and a good quality of ingredients in general. I'm gonna pour the entire bottle in a pan. Smell amazing. And then I'm gonna use 100 grams of coconut sugar. Coconut sugar will, will add this like really nice caramelized and rich flavor into it, which is approximately eight tablespoons, but you can sweeten it to your taste. So make sure you taste along the way. And then I'm gonna be using one orange and one lemon. You don't have to slice them pretty. I'm just gonna put it in the pan, but it won't go in the glass. I'm just adding it into it. I will be filtering that and serving it with a garnish. So I'm then gonna be using spices. So two cinnamon stick, two star anise, and then two cloves. This is what it looks like, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna put it on the stove, heat it up for a few minutes on um, medium temperature. You wanna make sure that like you don't boil the wine and kind of stir gently. You really want all the fruit to cook and all the spices to evolve in the mole wine. So you can just like leave it on for a few minutes and wait for it to get warm. All right, so it's nice and warm. It smells amazing. That's a good thing also about making a mold wine is your entire house will smell very like the holiday season, very festive. Um, I'm just gonna put it in this carafe just to be able to serve it. You could pour it directly into glasses. And then I'm just gonna add a few fruit, pieces of fruits and spices, so it keeps infusing, but also it looks great in the carafe. I love this craft because actually the candle is keeping the cocktail warm. I got mine online, there's different design, you can choose yours. And that is your vin chaud. And then you just wanna make sure that you serve it in glassware that are heat proof. Those ones are actually quite thick, so that will do. And I will just pour it. Keep it warm and nice. And then as I was saying, I don't want any fruit from the craft into the glass. I'm just gonna garnish it with an orange slice with some cloves on it. I'm just gonna slice the orange, add the cloves on the side so it looks all beautiful, but also add some aroma and some flavor into the cocktail. And then with the garnish, with the orange and the clove, you can either put it on the side, you can put it on the top of the glass. I like to put it inside because I think it looks beautiful and it kind of float at the top. Et voila, this is your vin chaud, your non-alcoholic mulled wine. It smells incredible, let's have a taste. Delicious, so this is perfect for the holiday season. It's rich, it's warm and cozy. It's perfect when it's cold outside to share with friends and family. You get all the spices coming through. The coconut sugar had a really nice caramelized kind of flavor to it. And Zero Wine is a beautiful non-alcoholic wine to use for this ventral cocktail. So, santé and happy holiday, everyone. Yeah.